All right, for the final video in this section on React Native Navigation, let's learn how to nest navigators. Nesting navigators allows us to combine the powers of different types of navigators, creating a seamless and organized user experience. It's like having a main road with smaller branching lanes, each having its own set of rules yet interconnected. Let's dive into code and explore how to nest navigators in our React Native app. For our example, we will nest a stack navigator within a tab navigator. We're going to reuse the navigators we have already created. Let's begin by making a small change in appstack.js, which contains our stack navigator. Create and export a constant called about stack, which returns the stack navigator. So from the function app, cut stack navigator and return it from about stack. Invoke about stack within navigation container to not break any code we have written before. For this video, we will only be using about stack though. Back in app.js, where our tab navigator is present, create a new tab.screen. The name will read about stack and component will be equal to the new about stack component we've exported from appstack.js. Make sure to import the component at the top. And that is pretty much it. We have nested about stack, which is a stack navigator within our tab navigator. If we head back to the devices, we should now see a fourth tab called about stack. Clicking on the tab will present the home screen, which is part of the about stack navigator. We can navigate to about screen from here. We do, however, have two headers, one from each of the navigators. Ideally, you would want the stack navigator to control the heading in this scenario. To hide the tab navigator heading, on tab.screen, specify options, which is an object, header shown, false. If we head back to the devices, we now have only one header from the stack navigator. This is how you nest navigators with React Navigation. Ideally, you should try to achieve the behavior you want with as little nesting as possible. Not only the code, but also the UX will be confusing with many levels of nesting. With that, we come to the end of this section on navigation in React Native. We have learned about React Navigation, which is the go-to package for navigation in React Native. We've learned about the three different types of navigators, namely stack, drawer, and tab. And we've also seen how to navigate to different screens with each of them and customize the look and feel as well. All right, thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next one.